Alright guys, here will be a model review. This is going to be of the CAT AP600D paver made by Norscott in 1 50th scale. Uh, first off, I just want to say sorry for the delay. I ordered this in July, and it's now September, so... Or I got this in July, too. And it's now September, and I just want to really apologize for that delay right there. Um, I don't want to make the intro too long, but I'll just... Uh, say I gotta get this up and the ham up those reviews and I have a few videos for you guys of the athletic field construction I'm sorry it's been such a big delay in videos it's been almost a month now and I do have a new model on the way which is one of DHS's deal of the day which if you guys know my Facebook which is Caterpillar729 and if you guys don't know it but you have a Facebook please like it I'll put the link in the description but it says what it is but I won't give it away now because I don't know Surprise for some of you guys, I guess. So, um, I'll just get, uh, started. Um, I forget exactly how much this model goes for, uh, but it's not too expensive, probably around $40, um, $40 to $50, I think. Um, the only difference between it and the AP655D, I believe that's the, what it's called, something around something like that but is just that one's a little bit bigger and I wanted a little bit smaller one so I got this one I also if you notice got the canopy version um because I wanted the warning beacons on the top and that only comes with the canopy so that's that's that um so uh without further ado well I'll, I'll just show you a quick 360 of the model. It's it's a actually pretty nice model from Norscott. I like it. It's my first paver, so um, I'm not too familiar with pavers. So if I make a mistake, guys, please correct me. I do appreciate the um, uh, uh, criticism. There's the word. But anyway, without further further, excuse me, ado. Um, uh, I'll get into detail. Alright guys, what we're looking at right here is the front of the paver. Now, this I believe is called the hopper, this front piece, like this whole area right here. But, once again, I'm not the best with pavers. So, somebody that knows more about pavers, if you could correct me on anything that I'm wrong about, I would really appreciate that, because I'm very interested into learning more. Um. What these uh, black pieces are is they're just uh, simulating like the little bumpers um, where when the dump truck pulls up to it, it um, doesn't scratch up the paint or dent the metal on the uh, front. Down there is just some really good bolt detail and some other little details. You can see there's plenty of bolt detail going around there. It's really nice. Um, inside the hopper, which I think that's what it's called, is a simula simulated um, conveyor, which is where it would bring the asphalt to the rear of the paver, where it would spread it at the screed. Uh, I think that's what it's called, screed. Yeah, screed. And But it doesn't actually move. But there's just the little hole where it goes in. And as you can see, it's a little bit wet there, which I um, I cleaned off the model just the slightest bit before I did this because it was kind of dusty, but I can't get all the water out. So that's if you see any little mist-looking water dots, that's what that is. Now, a nice feature that all paver models do is the hoppers fold up like that, and that's what it looks like when they're folded. Here's a side view of, fold, of when they're folded. You can see if I bring one down, the CAT and the AP600D logo with your power edge. Now if I leave them folded, you can see the um, tires, which there's some good detail on the tires. and You can also see that silver bar there, which is plastic, but it's to help with the steering, and you can see the pins in there. And they do steer. It's not the best, but you know, what are you going to do about it? 
and there are they are duals and the other side has linked steering but sometimes you, you gotta force it a little bit it's not always the best and then of course it goes the other way which I think it goes more to this side than the other way but you know now um up here is your caterpillar logo and then you have two work lights on either side and a big exhaust stack which comes right up there um if we move back down here's that side and here is the large wheel which if you can see actually says cat in it and it's got a very good amount of bolt detail and I like the treads on it which they're actually pretty detailed while we're underneath nothing special just the steering rods and some manufacturing info the Norse got stuff but nothing much um, I'll move up to the cab now. Starting off with the canopy, you have two work lights up there on either side, and then you have a warning beacon, which it doesn't want to focus on, but you guys can see the basic shape anyway it's weird there we go now you can see it um and then on this side you have a seat with some handrails and all the handrails on this are plastic on this side before I get into the interior detail basically um the seats but you know you have another warning beacon right here, and the canopy is held up by plastic rods, which there it's held up by plastic rods, which makes it kind of wobbly, so it is a little bit wobbly, as you can see, and the whole machine it stays balanced like see but it does tip a little bit um the seats here back to what I was saying the handrails are all plastic but you know that's expected from Norscott the seats a little bit wet but it's it's got some okay detail and then it's kind of hard to see but it's simulated that the seat has suspension if you can see it's not really wanting to focus there but it doesn't actually and the cute little armrest on there. Here's where most of the detail is. It's on this seat, which has the same little suspension detail. And the seat itself is the same, but then you got your steering wheel, which um, doesn't actually turn. See? But it's good that they incorporated it. And you have a bunch of little simulated gauges and and it's just very detailed as you can see in there it's really nice and as you can see up there the canopy has a little bit of space where it goes in for the smokestack to come out to the rear you probably notice these little um, pin and cylinder type things along the whole thing that's what they do is they assist with bringing the whole uh, rear of the paver down to pave as you can see so that goes down that far to the ground and then goes back up as high as we just saw it about that high but I'll leave it down now
and the cylinders don't really all work together. You kind of have to put the small ones down individually, but these two go down together. Um, in the rear here you have your plastic handrails and um, just some uh, diamond plating engraved in there. Here you have some cat lettering of some sort. I'm not sure what it means. Again, I'm not too familiar with pavers, but if you guys know what it means, it says cat AS4251C. So, you know, if you guys know what that is, that would be awesome. If you could tell me what that means. Um, I'm sure it's some sort of mechanism over there or something. Now for the features of the rear, um, that's all diamond plating and all that. And then the screed extends by cylinder, which that's how far it goes out. And you can see the cylinders and stuff. And that's the full extension. And you have some detail in the rear here that I missed. And that's what it looks like when it's paving, as wide as it can pave. But I'll close that up right now. Now, on the rear of the paving area is the little, like, auger piece that spreads the asphalt. Or, well, mixes it up right before it gets spread across the road. But it doesn't actually turn. As you can see, it's just a nice detail added. Um, and you can kind of see it. Um, right now with the bad lighting, you can't. But you can kind of see it in there when it's lighter. So that's about the gist of the model. It has some amazing detail on it. Um, it's one of Norscott's real nice models. Um, So with that said, I'll do a few comparisons and that's all. Alright, so this is what it looks like paving with the matte granite pulled up to it. Um, looks pretty cool like that. Um, it can also, I believe, fit on the beaver tail that comes with the matte granite. Um, oh yeah, I gotta fold up the hopper area and it does fit just Barely. Um, but you gotta really put it way up to the front or else the beaver the beaver tails won't open. But if it's right up to the front like that, you're set and it does fit uh very slightly. Um so that's that. And then last but not least Here's what it looks like with the ham trailing behind it. Looks like a pretty good uh, couple right there. Um, so yeah. Uh, that is really all, and now I will get to the ham review for you guys. But like I said, this one will be up first. So that's about all. Um, here's the. This uh, was a model review of the Norscott Caterpillar. Uh, move it out of the reflection from the light. AP600D asphalt paver and the canopy version. Thanks guys for watching and that's all.